This season of Survivor at UVA, we took 18 of the most competitive students and pitted them against one another in the ultimate social experiment. So what are you saying? So what are you saying? So in a, because we can guess we're targets? Yes! No, why did you do that? You know, after these people completely screwed me over the last boat, I'm gonna try to get back at them a little bit. This is not a hidden immunity idol. <laughs> Early on, big alliances ran the game. Max, guys, yeah. Max is like a kite. <laughs> we just had to hold on to awesome. that kite and manipulate it. I am literally gonna kill you, Katie. Literally. You're going home unless you like get your ways together and you're my servant. Whoever did that was a cunt and you're a fucking piece of shit. But when the underdog stepped up, the coalitions came crashing down. I am about to put a play in works to get Katie out. Katie, I haven't liked her from the start. At the merge, it was first years versus upperclassmen. They want to blindside Peyton, and I know she's an idol. And I yeah. was like, I'll fucking tell her, and like she can use her idol, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. And after some contentious tribals, it was clear that the first years had won. Tommy. Damn it. Fuck! Which is... Fuck Margaret. Um, Margaret is dead to me. Now, only five remain, and each of them has a valid reason for winning the game. I walked in, and where are the black people? Mario's game has relied firmly on social bonds and information. I am an information hoe. Even before the merge, he exploited his social connections to meddle in a separate tribal and break up the majority alliance that was running the game. He's not afraid to speak the truth, and he has no hesitancy to spread secrets in return for trust. Will his goofy personality be enough to disguise his strategic mastery? I have been playing this game since day one. If we have a jury that respects the game, they'll see me as the rightful winner of Survivor. I low-key want their heads on a platter. Ethan is constantly waiting and plotting to take out the next biggest threat, like a crocodile stalking its prey. He completely disrupted the surviving six after realizing his poor position and flipped on the first years in an attempt to take out Margaret. His closest ally was Lauren, but with her gone, he was left to fend for himself in hopes of making it to the end with people he can beat. Will Ethan's patience and timing help him to strike at just the right time? At this point, I didn't make as many big moves as I would have liked to have made, but I think everyone sees that. You know, Mario and Margaret are bigger targets than me, so why would you want to vote on me? I do really care about this game. I think it just is difficult to come off that way. <laughs> Ellie came into the game promising to be honest and true to herself. Her quirky personality spread joy and allowed her to join forces with the rest of the upperclassmen. For most of the game, she hid in the shadows of Aaron until just last tribal when she painfully agreed to send her home. I've never been so broken up about a decision yeah, ever in my life. Now, as the final remaining member of her alliance, she has everything to prove. Will her kind-hearted and under-the-radar gameplay be enough to win the jury over? Could you even play the real Survivor or this Survivor without lying? I've been a Survivor fan all my life. My mom and I would sit down in front of the TV, sometimes we'd take notes. Margaret has no problem making people like her and has used her social charm to create social bonds with nearly everyone in the game. I've made a lot of friends in this game so far, and now I'm realizing I can't keep all of those. Oops. At the merge, she played secret agent for the first years and pioneered two incredible blindsides without any hint of suspicion. So how did they know that we were voting for Lauren? Making enemies along the way, she has been the target for countless tribals and has escaped untouched. Can she downplay her threat level enough to make it to the end and emerge victorious? This is not about the money at all. Like This is 100% about the pride. I came to win. Let's do this. Oh my god. If Ethan does not vote for her, Ethan, you're a fucking idiot. Ryan's game has revolved around using the Super Mario Brothers as a shield to protect himself from ever becoming the target. Thus far, he has yet to receive a vote and has employed his insider knowledge to vote correctly in every single tribal council. With a history of fake idols and advantages, he now holds an idol in his pocket and the power to control the tide of the game. 
Can he use his connections and influence to make it to the end and plead his case? First I wanted to make it to the merge, you know, then I wanted to make it a little bit farther, a little bit farther. And now I want it more than anything to win this game. After 86 days and our greatest season yet, the finish line is finally in sight. I'm excited that I'm in the final five. I'm so grateful for this experience. Oh, I finally felt like I'd earned my keep. Everything has led us here, and tonight, one of these five players will be crowned as the newest winner of Survivor UVA. For all of us, this has become a big part of our lives that everyone wants to win. Now I don't know what to do with life. <laughs> so last night like was really stressful because we were um, three for Margaret, three for Erin, and nobody else would budge. Uh, I like don't know if I believe that she was actually okay with that. Walking home, I had regretted it. I remembered that she was a fourth year, and I was like, wow, like, like she like deserved to win this game. But then I kept just coming back to the fact that in this game, you have to be selfish. And it's okay, because it is just a game. Oh oh, I just want to tell you, Margaret, like, I don't have anything against yeah. you. I just yeah. felt like this is like... Yeah, so I don't know. It's like, I'm not going to lie. Well, first off, my current motto, don't dish it if you can't take it. I can take it. Like, no hard feelings. It's a game. I kind of had mixed feelings about Tribal. Coming in, I was like, okay, Ryan wants to get out Aaron. But I need to somehow try to have the situation end up where it's what I want to have happen instead of what Ryan wants to have happening because that's something he can say in the final tribal council against me. It does kind of suck when like, like I was actually like honest with you, you know, like it would be one thing if I were lying to you and you caught me in a lie. But when I was like actually telling the truth, I'm like, oh, like I wish I had my truth had been more convincing, I don't know. I had a feeling that Ethan was trying to force a split and then he was gonna throw a vote on me. But I was not surprised to see a, a tie vote. I really did not want it to go to rocks at all. Um, I don't wanna play the odds of my biggest ally with an idol going home. Y'all better not Did you, did you vote. hear what we were saying in that power? No, I didn't care. I just didn't I had to listen. give him my word that I was voting for you next week. I was saying things that were true, some things weren't true. I said I would be 100% willing to vote on market next week and I would like, I promised them that I would put Margaret Sane down this week. Just don't. Who cares? It's 3-2. I don't care. I don't give a hot fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer to vote out Mario this week. I do honestly have the power to do anything I want at this point. I'm dead set in the middle, and I'm just sitting here with an idol. Oh, that was amazing. That was, I can't believe I could do that. <laughs> that I thought awesome. you could have played your idol. No. And then not go, gone to you, not gone to us. I was confused on the rules. Well, now you guys know. I've been there. Oh.
All right, well, I did not tell you guys about the idol because I wanted to use it in a way that would be a big move and an individual thing for me. In an individual? No, I mean like me playing my own game to help out our alliance. So what were you going to do? I was literally going to play <laughs> I mean, like, I think it's fair that I ask these questions, you know? I, I'm not. What? As you guys know, Brian's a little snake. He's a snake. And it's like, I knew from the jump that he was a snake, but I never thought he was snaking it out on me. Ryan, will you, Ryan, will you flip on us? No, I'm not flipping on you. I'm solid. Do you think Ryan's solid? Are you seriously questioning me right now? I, I haven't had to pose any questions. I mean, Margaret, are you seriously questioning me right now? I'm questioning Mario. Do you think that Ryan will flip on us? I don't know. When that information came out, um, immediately I was kind of shocked, but Mario was even more so shocked because obviously I knew about the idol and he didn't. I wouldn't go to rock tonight. I did. Because I wanted Ryan to go home with that idol in his pocket. Like it was kind of, I don't know, I thought we were under the understanding too. That I was going to get the idol. Yeah. That's what I thought, but. And also just the fact that he found my idol what the fuck talk about yeah i wanted to make a big move yeah your big move was going to be sending me home that's literally the biggest move in this game because nobody has been able to do it yet i feel like i really do need to apologize for not telling you guys because i really did not want it to get out to anyone like i hope there are no hard feelings because i would never have used it against you guys so honestly, it sucks because I know for a fact that Mario doesn't trust me now. My plan that I had to vote Mario out is a lot tougher because, you know, it's, it's a lot more cruel that he knows that I have his idol. But I 100% need your word that that idol is going to be played next I at the next vote. vote. It has to it be It is played. going to be played next vote and it's going to be played for one of the three of us. Oh, absolutely. I'm telling you right now. Me. I mean, sure. If it comes to that, sure. This week I knew I had two options one of which was to play it safe, go with my alliance, or continue with my plan, even though people are already suspicious about it and vote on Mario. Like I said, I'm not shocked that he had it. I knew he had it. How'd you know? He didn't tell me, but I literally knew. I gotta think of my own game here too, so it's, it, it's gonna be a toss up. Bill, what's, what's on your mind? Um, Ryan was gonna send me home next week. No, he's not. He was. How, why do you think that? He told Ethan and Ellie that he was sending me home next week. He doesn't wanna go to the final three with us. I don't okay. know, I just can't not trust Ryan. Like, I just, I don't know. I just feel like. I ha Like I said, I have no choice but to trust him, but if I go home next week, I won't be surprised. Margaret doesn't even care. She's a bit sketched out, but like, she still trusts him. I'm like, girl, he was gonna send us home. Do you see how this works? Yeah, it's I do. It's literally the smartest thing ever. Wait till the last minute to try to flip because we don't have allies. Ryan has a lot of power right now. There's five people. He's in the middle of two alliances, theoretically, with an idol. Like, Mario's not wrong. If I were Ryan, I think I'd do that. <laughs> like, I think that's what I'd do. I, I get your points. It's just hard to wrap my head around when, like, I feel like he's, like, like, I literally feel like he's a, a very close friend of mine. We used to be a triangle, but now the line between Ryan and Mario is severed, and now they're both just talking to me, and I'm trying to reconcile it. I'm trying to get them to kind of come back together and for us to be good. Hopefully yeah. one of us will pull out a win and hopefully Ryan won't fuck us over. <laughs> Ryan, you're probably watching this three years later. If you fuck us over, you're dead to me. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
surprise. <sighs> Just like what happened in the okay. other recordings. Okay. Thanks, Echo. <laughs> Second round me. Oh. As I said, not a surprise. Pretty clear who goes to the gym. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, final round. This is for all the marbles. All right, please. Please just like be sure. Okay, go. <laughs> you pushed me into the owl. Our next video will be in the gym because clearly somebody has been going. Look how much has changed. Wow, we've changed. We survived a lot this semester. <laughs> Gangy <laughs> Tribe, final Shut five, up, welcome to your next challenge. First <laughs> things first, I gotta take back immunity. <laughs> it's okay, um, you won't be having it. Okay. It'll be back. Yeah, you're Thank right, you. it's, it's gonna it's come gonna over come here. <laughs> so, individual <laughs> immunity is back up for grabs. For today's challenge, you will be doing a five part challenge. The first part, you'll be doing Floors Lava. Second part, you'll be doing Dizzy Bat and balancing a ball on a spoon. And then, you'll be bouncing a ball into a pyramid of cups. Then, you have to eat 10 sardines. And then the final round, you will have to throw a bocce ball into a one by one foot target. The first person to get their bocce ball into their target will win individual immunity and will have a guaranteed one in four shot at winning this game. Everyone's good? Okay. Survivors ready? Go! Final five is battling at this next immunity challenge first part, they will be using two tap tiles to travel across 15 meters of turf as quickly as possible. Right now, it looks very close. Ryan is going pretty quickly. Ethan seems to be a little bit behind. Margaret at the orange line. Mario ahead of Margaret right now. Ethan behind. El it looks like Ryan and Mario are ahead right now with Ethan and Ellie slightly behind. Margaret trying to catch up. It is still anybody's game. There are four more parts to this. Ryan is quickly moving to the back as well as Mario. It looks like those two will be doing their dizzy bat first. Ethan has made a mistake. He has to head back. Mario is now doing his dizzy bat. Ryan is doing his dizzy bat. Now Ellie is ready to do her dizzy bat. Margaret now. Ryan going quite slowly. Mar Margaret doing a little bit of a gallop right now. Ethan way behind still on his top tile portion. Now Ryan is heading to his cups and he quickly gets there he is on his third part mario now walking with the spoon in his mouth ethan still doing floors lava section ellie now walking towards the cups margaret is dizzy
Ryan trying to bounce his ball into his cup. We cannot tell who is ahead for this part. This is partially luck, partially skill. They are having a tough time. Ellie, that is incorrect. You don't need to go that high. Just three layers. Ellie's still figuring out the stacking. Margaret, her stack falls down. And Mario's cup falls. Ethan now doing his dizzy bat. He is stumbling. Ethan is way behind right now. The four other contestants are all bouncing their balls right now, but nobody has gotten it yet. There is a learning curve to this challenge. Margaret won this challenge during the first individual immunity. Let's see if she is able to get it first again. Ethan now balancing a ball on his spoon. Ellie is good, Ellie is ahead. She is eating her sardines in the gross food eating challenge. Ellie ate eggs very quickly. Ryan is good now. Mario, Margaret, and Ethan bouncing. Ethan is stacking, having trouble with that portion. Ellie patiently eating right now. Mario is now eating his sardines. Now it is Margaret and Ethan behind with Ryan, Ellie, and Mario trying to swallow these fish down. Ryan coughs it up. Ellie is now ahead. She is doing the bocce ball portion. This is going to be a tough part. She is at the final part, but she's going to have to run after it every time she misses the target. And just like that, Ellie wins individual immunity. On her second throw, Ellie has won final five individual immunity. Thank God, good. Congratulations. <laughs> Alright, Ellie, congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Ellie, congratulations. You have a guaranteed one in four shot at winning this game. Unfortunately for the rest of you, Margaret, Mario, Ethan, Ryan, one of you will be the 14th person voted out and the seventh member of the jury, okay? Oh, my fingers are frozen, but Ellie just won the challenge. Ellie, how does it feel to win your first immunity challenge? Yeah, it felt, I was really like glad that I did the bocce ball thing. Like everything just went well. It was just a really good time. I've kind of this whole game been like walking that line of it's okay if I'm not playing super hard. But then I'm like, wait, no, I actually really do kind of want to win also. I had the opportunity to kind of take the game a step further with my drive to play and win. Like kind of like make it my own, I guess. Um, really start playing hard. If I were looking at myself objectively, yeah. like I think game-wise, I think I've played well, but the jury, like Tommy won't make eye contact with me. I don't have anything personal against Margaret. I just feel like she's played a really solid game. And if she gets to the end, she's gonna win. If you have ideas going forward, I am definitely down to hear them and not gonna just disperse every right. bit of information I hear. If Ryan and Ellie say that they want to target Margaret, then I'm fine with that. I'll write down Margaret's name because I want her, I've been wanting her to go for two tribal councils now. If they want to target Mario, then I would tell Mario and I would try to figure out if he has an idol and if he does, I would tell him he needs to play it to save himself. Speaking of the vote this week, Ethan? I don't think we have a choice. Yeah. If I vote Ethan out this week, then it's highly possible all three of us are gonna make it to the final three. We also have an idol to play. So how are we gonna play it? I don't care, I would rather 
can be not played at all. Okay. But then again, you do what you want. And I, I, don't, I, I see myself as having better odds of winning if I'm not sitting next to all of them. I do have so much power this week, and they know it. Ellie has made it clear, Ethan and Ellie have made it clear that they're not taking you to the final three. So if he votes me out, then he's a shoe in. Yeah. And he has an idol, so he can make that happen. He knows where we're voting. He'll know where they're voting. Play the idol. Send the vote for me. Boom, I'm gone. Mm -hmm. That's literally the smartest thing to do. This conversation with Mario, I started thinking, and I was like, maybe I can't trust Ryan 100%. Like, if we're at four, and it's either a tie vote, or you vote me out, I mean, like, you have a better chance with them. And, like, that crosses my mind, you know? Okay. If I turn on you, then I'm going home. Yeah. You turn on me, you're going home because mm -hmm. we're both seen as threats. So mm -hmm. if all the people who aren't seen as threats yeah. band together, we're gone. I I think the only mistake in my game is I let all the threats go. <laughs> it's a plus and a minus because now that the threats are gone, I'm a threat, Margaret's a threat. Do you think that a final three with Ryan, like, do you think that he's just gonna clean up? Honestly, Margaret. Right now, they're three. None of them are gonna beat us. I don't want Mario to go home this week. I know that that was this big move that Ryan's concocted because Ryan thinks he needs something to separate himself from the two of us, which makes sense. But I cannot have Mario going home this week because if Mario goes home this week, there's no way that Ellie and Ethan are gonna flip on one of their own. I think the two of them are gonna stay strong. I think it's highly possible that I will be going next if Mario goes now. We both have our own self-interests. Obviously, my self-interest puts her in a huge risk next week, and her self-interest doesn't guarantee me to win the game. I do worry that Mario has votes that we won't get. It's weird. I feel like you two are like, don't trust each other now, and I'm just confused. Well, the only reason why I don't trust him is because he doesn't trust me. He believes that you're gonna try to flip on him. Mario thinks that I'm gonna vote him off this week, or he thinks that I could vote him off this week. Margaret told me you think that I'm voting you out this week. Margaret did not lie. And then afterward, whether you want to or not, it's gonna be me going. He's like, if I go, you're next. And he has a point. Which obviously makes Margaret nervous, and. She's, she's a hard one to convince, but I either can convince her to go along with the plan or just do it on my own. So what, what would you say you're like, how much do you want to vote out Ethan versus how much you want to vote out Mario right now? I don't want to vote out Mario yeah. right now. Okay. If she doesn't agree to it, then I have to decide between sticking with the three or risking her trust. Okay. Okay. I feel like you're not 100% okay with this. I'm not 100% okay with it, because I think it's a little bit boring, but. It is good for him to have a big move. If he plays that idol and sends home one of his allies, that's a, that's a huge move for him. But Ryan's not going to. And I think that's his greatest weakness as a player right now, is that he's not willing to be as ruthless as he should be to win this game. If we, if we vote out Ethan this week, it's basically between you or I. Yeah. Even though it's just a game, it's more than a game. This is the hardest choice I've had to make by far all game. They're voting for Ethan. Um, who, okay. so who I send home tonight solely depends on what Ryan says at his meeting with Ellie and Ethan. Oh my God. So tonight, do we want to vote out Mario on Ryan? If he mentions my name, I'm gonna cast a vote for Ryan. Personally, I think, I know you guys think Margaret's a good threat. I think she's kind of gonna be a flop mm -hmm. at flop. the final job of council. Yes. Yeah. So, Mario? My confidence level that I will not be voted out is probably 90%, but at the same time, I'm not worried more about me. I'm worried about who I want to get voted out and I want Margaret to go. My only concern is if Mario has an idol. Because isn't this the last travel council where someone would play an idol, potentially? I think if he had an idol, he would play it for Margaret. I kind of want to blindside Ryan. Like, I feel like for these past 
tribal councils, like he's been smooth sailing, he knows how all the votes are gonna go down, blah blah blah. And I want something to go my way and not Ryan's way. And that's what I tried to do last tribal council. And if I can, I'm gonna try to do it this tribal council. Okay, I met with Ethan and Ellie today. I told you I was gonna meet with them. I would like to hear your story because okay. obviously I've heard Ethan's and I'll see what all lines up. Ethan told him that you wanna vote for him. Really? Yeah, so I don't think you have much trust there. <laughs> Mario, I did not bring up your name. Like, at all. I went into the meeting thinking it would be Margaret. I would be able to play my idol for Margaret. And they asked me whether I wanted Mario or Margaret. I said, I don't care. Um, you can choose. And they literally talked it through and they switched to you. I had no part of that. Now I'm paranoid. Like, I don't even have a confidence level because I don't even know what I'm going to do or what I'm trying to do. Whatever. They're voting for Margaret. You and Margaret are voting for Ethan. Sort of say. I'm going to vote for you. Here's the thing. It's like, if Mario thinks you're 100% gunning for him, then like, why wouldn't he tell Ethan about your idol? I do have suspicions that Ryan might have an idol. Things could definitely go south, so... I'll be keeping my eyes and ears open, and hopefully everything goes according the way I want it to. It seems to me like they would be blindsiding me if they were so open to voting you out and then go to you and tell them that I was the one who wanted to vote you out. Play the idol for yourself. I checked the group me and Ethan had sent a message in it that said, are we good for the Ryan blind side this week? And I was just like, what? I can't even process this right now. I couldn't either. I've been running all scenarios. So is that why Ethan said that in group? He is under the impression that you're gonna be paranoid tonight and play the idol for yourself. What I wanted to do was play my idol for Ethan because I feel like that would be a huge move, big resume builder. But now I'm feeling more paranoid. I might have to play it for myself. Except here's the thing. Mm -hmm. So my theory is that the message in the group me was just to get me to play the idol for myself. Clearly Ethan's not loyal. Yeah, he's a snake. And yep. like I literally, okay. I really felt like that meeting was genuine. I have no idea how today's gonna go. Um, I really don't know. It's up to me to make the decision, but I still don't know what that decision is. All right, jury. Ryan, now that Final Five is here, what are your thoughts? I mean, I feel like this week people have begun to trust me less uh, because of some rumors going around that are not true. And I just want to say to those people that they're not true. What are the rumors? Um, well, I'm not sure exactly what the rumors are, but I mean, I hate to pull a Kevin here, but um, <laughs> once again, Ethan has accidentally texted in the survivor group. <laughs> um, we're talking about a Ryan Blinds accident. So that does concern me. <laughs> what did you do? Did you look at the group and get key in there? Could you, could you tell what you did? I mean, I don't really want to talk about it. Because <laughs> well, now it's like public things. knowledge. <laughs> uh, <pretty> what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a but I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's kind of awkward someone... sitting right next to, or like I'm right next to, but in your eye. So. Can we have someone read the message? Oh, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. All right. So the message reads oh, in Genki Tribe group chat. It says, "At Ellie Gale Feather Tree." We're good for the Ryan blind side, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, directly following that, it says, Fudge, wrong group chat. <laughs> Ignore that. And then, I mean, and then Ellie goes, what? Question mark? No? Question mark? Okay, period. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, um, <laughs> Ellie, what, what was your response about? <laughs> I mean, I was kind of shook, <laughs> but it was kind of like, um, it was just an idea, like, it wasn't, I'm but just confused. <sighs> See, I think it was a little bit more than an idea, um, because I did hear my name after I met with both of these people. Um, and those are the lies that I'm starting to hear about, them spreading rumors about me campaigning for a certain person when in reality, it was them. Yeah, I think there's been a lot of rumors going around this time. Um, and you can kind of see like where these rumors are originating from. And um, ultimately, um, I see the reasons why I should trust the people that I do trust. And so um, I'm sticking with what I've told um, those people. Are they originating from Ethan? Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel like, yeah. <laughs> and, but we're not clear what the rumors are. I mean, I mean we know what the rumors are. To me, like, they were trying to get some people in my alliance to turn on me by telling, okay, I'll just say it was Mario, that I was gunning for. Um, why do you say it's Mario? Well, because that's did who... Did Mario tell you, or did they... Yeah. What? Okay. I mean, I heard it from multiple sources. I did not tell Brian that I knew that he was gunning for. No, he did. That's a lie. That you told it. me, and I told Ryan, because I was like, Ryan, why would you be gunning for Mario? And then um, exactly. things were sorted out. <laughs> what was sorted out with who? Well, I mean... I am confused who that message was supposed to be sent to because I don't know how Ethan could pull off blinds that with just Ellie. Um, that's two out of five people. So with only two votes, how would you flip one of these three to get the majority vote? I mean, all we need is one person, so... And Mario, are you sending a message of loyalty to Margaret and Ryan then? I haven't said a word this whole tribal. I think it's known at this point that I am the deciding vote of whether I go home or not. What do you mean? How, how could you be going home? If Brian is actually sending me home tonight, then if like Brian is actually voting for me, then if I vote with them, I'll be going home because I waste my vote. But then if I trust Ellie and Ethan and I vote where they go, then I can still possibly go home tonight because there's a happy twist in this story. Okay. That concerns uh, I don't think you should be concerned, Ryan. I mean, but you can do what you want. It's up to you. Um, Margaret, so Final Five is historically the time when idols can be last played. Do you think idols are in play this round? Yes. Is that a big deciding factor in what happens? No. I think the numbers will speak for themselves. All right, with that, it is time to vote. Ryan, you're up. Um, I don't really have a choice tonight. Let's just hope that I don't get any votes. I watched my first episode of University Maryland Survivor and they get really intense and they like cry and like I feel like I'm like about to cry. I'll go tally the votes. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play one, now would be the time to do so. Hey, Genki. Ah. I am very frightened tonight. So, well, I'm a little bit more frightened than Margaret, so I'm gonna play for her. Okay. The rules of Survivor state that if a hidden immunity idol is played, any votes cast for that person will not count. This 
is a hidden immunity idol. Any votes cast for Margaret will not count. First vote. Margaret does not count. Second vote. Margaret does not count. Third vote, Ethan. That's one vote, Ethan. Fourth vote. And 14th person voted out, and seventh member of the jury, Ethan. That's two votes, that's enough. Bring in your vote. Ethan, the tribe has spoken. Guys, it's a pleasure playing with you all. Best of luck. Well, you guys are now nearing the end of the game. Um, let's see how you guys do at these last steps. You guys are free to go. I think part of it was probably because the fact that I sent that message, but I was trying to get Ryan to play his idol for himself. Unfortunately, the plan didn't work, but I'm rooting for Mario and I'm also rooting for Margaret. I think that those two basically have the best chance of winning right now. Yep, I tried my best. I tried to make big moves, tried to make relationships with people, but ultimately I fell short, but I'm glad I did this because it's a learning experience for me and you know, I just got to experience what playing Survivor is like, so. Ethan beforehand, like, he had a plan to m somehow make it so Ryan would play the idol so we could vote for Margaret. That's about how well our plan went tonight. And I had an inkling that it might have gone that badly. But I, <sighs> you know, we should have, we should have known. I should have known. I'm smarter than that. I know more. Psychology. It was logical for Ryan to know that we weren't actually like trying to blindside him. I thought it was so funny when you were talking about that text message in the group meet because obviously it wasn't a leak. It was so that fake. That was the most pathetic it was such attempt a fake to save message. yourself I've ever seen. Like I'm literally not that stupid, Ethan. I'm not gonna believe that you added Feather Tree and was, was trying to vote me out. Like it, it just didn't click for me, you know? We should have split the vote because we don't know who he's going to play the idol for. Like, clearly they can see through Ethan's. Like, nobody accidentally posted that. Like, I was just kind of going along with the idea. I was like, yeah, yeah, good plan, good plan. I'm trying to make sure Ellie doesn't think that she's going home. Well, she definitely already does. Me, Mario, and Margaret are pretty close. We're pretty tight. And then Ellie's over here, sort of like, I don't know. She's just sort of like really far away from us because I don't know how much she knows the extent of our alliance and how much we work together this entire game. What happens if she wins, guys? <laughs> um, if she wins, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think of an accurate <laughs> metaphor for it. It would be like if you go to Chick-fil-A and then they tell you, we only have tofu. That's it. Tribal tonight. Could have gone better, but it definitely wasn't bad. He was like, yeah, I know, I just really wanted to get Margaret out. That is such a good Ethan imitation. <laughs> I hate to say this, but I think if there is a person in this game who has played a better game than me, it's Margaret. Post tribal council. Yes. How final four. How do you feel about being in the final four? Honestly, honestly, I'm proud. I'm proud of us. 
I have really wanted Ryan to play the idol for me because I think that I just have created such a close alliance with someone that he's probably, I think, gonna lose to me and he's keeping me around. So, imagine this. Okay. You, me, Ellie, final three. I like the sound of that. All right. And I honestly think that this is one of my best moves in the game is that I am keeping Ryan on my side when it is totally to his advantage to vote me off. We just can't have Ellie win then. If Ellie wins, she's gonna take Mario, and then you and me will be in a tiebreaker. No, I think Ellie would bring you, right? No, Ellie wants Mario over me. I would take you to the final three. I told Mario I would take him to the final three. And I don't know how many people remember that. Um, he remembered and asked me the next day, and I was like, yeah, I don't just say things. I don't think Ellie would lie to me straight up to my face because I didn't, I didn't reach out to her. She reached out to me. I saw oh the text. Apparently Ellie wanted Mario in the final three instead of me. Ellie said that she had given her word to Mario that they would be in the final three together. And also Mario's like, yeah, I've been in contact with Ellie. Ellie cannot win because have to play I mean, all cards already. it would sort of be a fitting end to the season, but it would just suck. I figured if Ellie won, then she might not want to take me. She'd have ultimate control. She could do whatever she wanted. And I mean, if we look at the track record, who's voted for me like three tribals in a row, I mean, it's clear she doesn't really want me to stick around. No, no, we're going to make it to the final three. Also. Final two, final three, I don't care. I am so close. And then it's like, if I survive this vote, I think I have like a pretty good shot. I'm so close. <laughs> I don't want to go out at this point. It would be like, just absolutely, just just reaching my arm out and just it's just I can't grab it, you know? I was really going into the challenge thinking I was going to hang on to whatever it was for as long as I could. There were two people I didn't want to win the challenge. One was Ellie, obviously, because that sort of just messes things up a lot. I also didn't want Mario to win the challenge because I was planning on blindsiding him this week. Well, of course this game takes an emotional toll. It's like really intense and I do my best when I'm chill to like do more um, meditating and yoga and hooping. Hello Final Four. Congratulations on making it this far into the game. Um, are you guys ready for your next challenge? Yep. First things first, I gotta take back immunity. Ellie. Individual immunity is back up for grabs. Uh, this is a challenge that will test how much you want it and your willpower. You'll be hanging on to one of those poles for as long as possible. So the person who wins this challenge will make it to final tribal council and they will have the chance to tell the jury why they think they should win the game and the title that goes along with it. Five, four, three, two, one. This is traumatizing. Okay, this challenge has officially started. Why are you copying me, Ryan? Am I allowed to phone a friend to get a sandwich? In season one, this challenge lasted three hours and 40 Holy minutes. Holy shit. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna be here for much too long. Everyone, 
Um, how about I'll pay your tuition? You'll pay my tuition? So no offers. I'll stay here all night. Five minutes in <laughs> and Mario is negotiating. Oh, Jesus! Oh, 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 I'm out. And just like that, five minutes and 30 seconds in, Mario is the first one out of this challenge. <laughs> if you want to leave, you can leave. All right, y'all have a blessed evening. <laughs> have a blessed day. And we are down to three people. Mario does not have a shot at individual immunity right now. It is now Ellie, Margaret, and Ryan as the final three of this challenge. Ryan looks like he's really struggling oh, right now. Thank you, no I'm not. Ryan's not struggling. We are now nine minutes through this challenge. Everybody trying to stick with their original positions right now. Ellie repositioning herself. Ryan shaking, Margaret looks really uncomfortable. Everyone's struggling, Ryan slips a little. Never. Guys, I don't know if now isn't the time to talk about this, but like, three of us here. And if the one person that's not here is here at the final three, like that person's gonna win. You think the jury would pick him? Yeah, Mario? Yeah. I think for sure. He's got a lot of friends. Not only has he not made the enemies that I have, but he's played an amazing game. Yeah, Just like that, Margaret is out. 10 minutes into the challenge. I will see him tell you. And I am 100% on board. So if he lives, he's taking, he wants to take him. The two of us to the three. And the thing is, like, I've won one, you've won one. So if he wins one, it would make us pretty even. Yeah, because he hasn't won one yet. Yeah, and he looks like really solid as well. I'm like worried about like my word. Like I know that's dumb, like in Survivor. Yeah, but I mean, I'm sure I know. It's hard to think about it, but yeah. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> she said maybe she would break the word, but. You have to hang on. You should tell her that Mario doesn't think that. Like, Mario doesn't have bother with us. That's actually true, though. Like, I don't think he'll take it for us. You have to hang on. But I... Oh, Chris Thomas! Um, so Mario thinks he's in front of the press. Really? Yeah. Yes. With me and Ryan. Oh, I heard. Yeah, I mean, he did tell me that. Okay. So, so do you think if you break your word, word, if you break your word, like, either way, he was gonna break somebody's. Yeah, true. 25 minutes through this challenge. This is when the individual immunity winner of season two won. 
like especially in these past few weeks, girls will really appreciate your gameplay because like I think like you've kind of like blossomed these past few years. So yeah, like it does yeah, make I started me playing like a So it's not like you're someone to bring like you're not just someone to bring to the end, that's for yeah. sure. I don't have to. No, you need to I know I don't have to, but I want to, and it would be nice. You actually do that. I am coming to leave it. And just like that, Ryan is out. Ellie has won individual immunity. Hey, Good job. I guess I'm done. Man, I was start I was like just starting to like it. I'm gonna do a backflip, so make sure you Okay. That's when you nice. shop <laughs> Oh shit. Congratulations, Ellie, after 30 minutes into this challenge. You have won individual immunity and you will be guaranteed a spot at the final travel council where you will get to explain to the jury why you think you should win this game. We're just, it's just a blooper, it's okay. Congratulations, Ali. <laughs> You're guaranteed a spot in the final three. Margaret and Ryan and Mario, who is not here, one of you will be the 15th person voted out and the eighth and final member of the jury. Knowing that Ellie won uh, made me nervous. I was like, I'm gonna have to do a lot of convincing this week. Um, this could be a real tough one. There's no idol or strong alliance of three that can save me now. It's, it's um, an individual game, every man for himself. But I'm also gonna be like completely honest. My word is that I'll decide probably right before I'm gonna vote. This makes things so easy and so difficult. I shouldn't be complaining that I won. <laughs> I'm not like no, I never was, I never well. was like yeah yeah yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. I just, yeah. <sighs> yeah. This game is crazy. It honestly is up to Ellie. She has the power here, and whoever she chooses to go with will make it to the final three. And I mean, I did underestimate her. I don't know. I told Ryan and. Margaret, that I would decide at Tribal Council. This feels oh like God. the Hunger Games. I told Mario I'd go to the final three with him, but I was also like a heat of the moment. He was like, well, everyone wants to vote me out. Nobody would take me. I was like, I'd take you to the final three. And it's like, you gotta be careful what you say. I am giving Mario you- Mario will be voting for me. I'm giving you my word, like 100%. I am not gonna vote for you. I want to vote for you. I'm going to take it to a tie. All right. One thing I know for sure is that me and Margaret are voting together this week. So we're voting for Mario. It's not really up to me, it's sort of up to Ellie right now because her vote is the one that matters. I don't know, it's just this game, like you don't necessarily have to go with your word. Like you can, you're entitled to change your mind, but you also don't want to be like flip-flopping. Like your word should mean something. This is what I do when I'm stressed. Ellie would probably want to go for you, if mm -hmm. anything. Mario would probably want to go for me, mm -hmm. right? So, mm -hmm. we propose, I'm voting for you, you're voting for me. Mm -hmm. If you make it a tie vote, we'll go to against each other mm -hmm. in a challenge. And then we both But are we going to tell you? We kind of tried to devise this whole plan where we were going to throw Mario off what was happening. So we need the two of us to go Mario. We need Mario to go you and we need Ellie My to go first me. vote. Try to get him to vote for Ryan and Ellie to vote for me so that then um, Ryan and I would have two votes so we could put on Mario. I feel like he's gonna see right through that. No, like he knows how we've played this entire game. Like he's gonna see right through that. He's gonna think both of us are voting for him. Well, we have to go. We can't mention his name once. Now it's just like everything's out in the open. All three of us know what's gonna go down, that it's, it's gonna be over tonight. Just the 
survivor gods have spoken. Ellie won. Well, Margaret told me how the challenge went, and I expected more from you guys. Mario, you were the first one out. We all know Mario was not going to stand on no pole. I was a pole dancer back in the day, but that ain't required to stand on the pole. We did a lot of other things with that pole, but we did not stand on it. So obviously my pitch to you is to vote Margaret. Um, I actually do think she has a better chance at winning than I do. Turns out, um, after I left, Margaret dropped and she was trying to pull one over on me. I'm writing off the fact that I don't think Ellie will write my name down. Hence, her not negotiating with you guys at the challenge. I already knew Ellie don't lie. I wanted Ellie to win. That means I don't have to do nothing. Like, I don't know, I feel like I'm more loyal to you. Really? Yeah. So I think Ryan will vote for you. But I think Ellie will vote for me. Then it's going to be a tie. Yeah. No, so I think... No, we... Oh. So I think then the two of us vote for Ryan. Yes. This is Margaret's pitch to me. I'm thinking, you know... I'm like... Trying to plague me. She's smart. <clears throat> Here's the dealio. <laughs> I'm not stupid. For one. Margaret wants me to vote you up. Okay. I think that's a ploy to get me out because if I vote for you, that's a vote wasted. If you and Margaret, all you have to do is write my name down and I go home. I worked too goddamn hard to be swindled last minute and vote myself out. I will not participate but why would i want you home going home over margaret like that doesn't make sense i don't know you're the one who met her you see ryan <laughs> last week you were ready to send me home mario i wasn't gonna send you home it was ethan the entire time i think so because when you have your meetings you always called me first I told you I was you meeting with them. Me first. I told you. You would call me first and be like, okay, here's what happened. Oh, um, my. But, and you didn't do that at all last week. Mario is much smarter than we thought he is. And he basically picked apart our entire plan. I just know that if I end up on the jury, at least one of them. Why? Because I know everything. I know stuff that they don't know. All I have to do is neglect to share that information with them. <laughs> And Ellie wins. I've been trying to see it from my own perspective, but also like put myself in like your shoes too. And like I do, I like genuinely think yeah. that Mario has played the music. He has a lot of friends on the jury. Um, he hasn't made many enemies like I have, and he's made a lot of big moves. Like the Katie vote was still a huge move, and I know that was a while ago, but I mean, that influenced the course of the game. I, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for that move on his behalf, and I'm aware of that. And also, he's like a good public speaker. He's like in a public yeah. speaking class. Mario's mm -hmm. like in like a public speaking thing. Yeah, like he, he is. And like he was like the main reason, like he's done a lot of crazy undercover um, votes. So as I've been thinking about this, I've kind of, grown to believe it a little bit that if I were sitting at the end of him I think he might actually like I think he would beat me. I think he's like done a similar thing that I've done but like been fun about it <laughs> you know what I mean like it is a big move I guess um it'll be less expected How much of a savage do I want to be? Like, what are you thinking as far as Margaret versus Mario? Because that's the main, like, choice. Because they're both yeah. have, like, a like, pretty lofty survivor resume. The pros of voting out Mario is that I think much more people would vote for, for me opposed to Margaret. And then the pros of voting out Margaret is also, like, I had told Mario that I would take him to the final three, so. Like it's Survivor, so yeah. like you can change your mind, but it's like, like, like the ethics of, like is it lying if you decide to lie 
after you lied. And already I don't like the fact that I'm like compromising my faith beliefs and things like this. And you're like, well, it's a game. And you're just constantly, I'm constantly going back and forth. I don't know because yeah, I, I mean, think like you have to do what yeah, you gotta do. And I promised the final three to Ethan, right? And I voted him out. <laughs> so yeah, I think so they'll respect doing, you more if you like make do a what bigger you gotta move do. rather than just being straight up about it. Now what we have to do is get Ellie to vote for Mario too. And Ellie is just very indecisive. She thinks she has a chance at winning this game. So she's trying to make the best choice for herself when in reality, like, she has a 5% chance of winning this game. So she basically heard me out. Um, this is, okay, I didn't realize she was strategizing this much. She pulled out a notebook where she had written down everyone in the jury's names. Oh my god! And then written the four of our names and, like, who she thought everyone was going to get votes so from. Did... Ellie pulled out a notebook and then there were, like, various checks for how likely she thought they would be to get any votes. Ryan had none in her graphic, like... She doesn't think he's gonna win at all. She severely underestimates you. Really? Yeah. Really? You have you're you've got a okay. guaranteed final three place, a hundred percent. That's like almost a bad thing though, because like what if she's right? I do think that Ellie sees me as someone who's played a similar game to her, sort of under the radar. I don't know who would vote for Ryan. Like Ryan's like he's played a really good game, but he hasn't like really been on the chopping block either. So it's gonna be tough to prove to the jury the things I've done um, and the game I've played. But like there also is this part of me that would be okay with Margaret getting voted out because I do think that if she were to get voted out, she would sort of campaign for me on the jury. I think you guys both played very well. I think the only distinction is Margaret's is more visible. I think if the bid is not jury, you will get a lot of votes. Or if the jury's not bid, the bid is not jury, you will get a lot of votes. So if for some reason I can't persuade Ellie, I would hope, I mean, it would go to a 2 2 tie, and then there would be a challenge. Well, it's probably going to be a 2 2 split between me and Margaret. You and Margaret vote for me. Me and Ellie vote for Margaret. You think Margaret's going to vote for you? I think Margaret's gonna vote for me. No. I don't think so. I think you guys have a stronger relationship than I have with either one of you guys. Y'all think I'm dumb. Y'all think I'm stupid. But I'm not. Don't put all your e eggs in one basket. And I did it. So now, look at me. I have Ellie. All I have to do is convince Ryan to vote for Margaret, which is really the smartest choice for all of us. And I'm Gucci. I, I think I'm not, I think I'm done with the line in this game. So I'm voting for Margaret on Wednesday. I will tell Margaret I'm voting for her on Wednesday. I don't think anyone has a chance against Margaret. Knowing that the three of us for sure have to turn on each other tonight. It's kind of rough. So it's like this triangle of just people saying they're voting different ways and you have to trust who you think you can trust. I'll let you know what Ellie says. Um, I'm in contact with Ellie, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Welcome your jury, Tommy, Max, Lauren, Aaron, and Ethan voted out at the last tribal council. Ellie, you've got that immunity necklace again, twice in a row, what's that feel like? Feels great. <laughs> Feels like I'm earning my keep on the Survivor Island. Do you think you needed it? Sorry? Do you think you needed it? Yes. You think you would have been voted out if you didn't have it? I think there's a large chance I would have been voted out, yeah. So, what's the move now, Ryan, now that Ellie is safe? Um, well, it is the final four, and I mean, obviously it's gonna be one of me, Mario, and Margaret going home tonight. And I mean, my vote is based on who I think could have a chance at winning 
this game and who I think could have a chance at beating me in the final final three. With Ellie having safety, is she in power at all? Um, I definitely <laughs> think having safety at the final four gives you a lot of power. So Ellie, what's the power that you have? I mean, I can basically decide who I want with me in the final three. Like at the end of the get day, the game is about winning, and so like to win, you have to um, not bring people who have maybe like played or a better game or could convince the jury that they played a better game. So then, what differentiates the three of you as individuals? Uh, the differentiation between us three is who played a more obvious game and who is better at convincing people to keep them in the game and who's better, who's better a convincer at getting votes. I think it's pretty simple that um, out of the three of us, someone had a more upfront game and more visible strategies and more convincing arguments. And I think that if that person were to stay tonight, then they are a shoe in to win. Margaret, what are the pros and cons of Mario? He's a good speaker and he's <laughs> kind of not made a lot of the enemies that I think I've made. And um, he also has played this game with a smile on his face and had a fun time throughout it. And I think that's something that, like, I don't know, he's looked at. Like, <laughs> can you're, you're can I speak on this? Yeah, because yeah. it was brought up to me yesterday that the a factor that goes into me being voted out tonight is the fact that I take a public speaking class. And I just think that's absurd. It's outlandish to think that I'll be able to give a good speech at a final tribal for a game just because I'm in a public speaking class, we don't go over <laughs> like how to convince people to get on your side. That's not one of our topics. Um, and then <laughs> uh, the fact that th th that people are saying that the jury doesn't hate me, I was a part of sending those people home. The only person who wasn't a part of that was Ellie. So to say that I haven't made any enemies on the jury is just simply not true. Like, you still have to be somewhat liked. Like, people are going to vote for the people that they like. I mean, I wasn't voted most liked at the tricky subjects, so... You were most annoying. Exactly. <laughs> I also I proceeded was, to I didn't screw get, some people over after that. I didn't but. get most likely to win this game, and I don't think you can win this game without screwing some people over. Margaret, Mario's arguing that all of you screwed the jury over equally. Do you agree with that? Um, I mean, I'm not gonna sugarcoat what I did. Um, I lied to some people's faces, and honestly, it wasn't a kind thing to do. And I think they see that, and they acknowledge that, and honestly, I'll take the stares that I'm getting back because like, I have to own the decisions um, I made in this game. And I do think that um, some people look at me differently for them. Uh, that's okay, I guess. Um, but I, I don't think we're, the three of us are looked at the same because, I mean, I lied, so. I don't know. I think time with Survivor, since things are constantly changing, the time that has transpired since each of them went home and the two big flips were so long ago, I think people will get over it. So, Ellie, have you made up your mind? Well, I don't know what I'm doing yet. We've already <laughs> established that. Are you ready for the vote? <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, Can I say one more yeah. last thing before, <laughs> before we start voting? I would just like to say that um, if Margaret does not go home tonight, she's a shoe in to win because somehow she has mysteriously got convinced people not to vote for her to go home tonight. And the fact that she has received a handful of votes and she still hasn't been sitting on the jury yet would definitely be a factor into her winning. And if she's able to convince Ellie two times in a row not to vote for her to go home tonight, then I don't see any reason why the jury would not vote for her at the final time. With that, we will vote. Mario, you're up. I think it's quite obvious who I'm voting for tonight. 
you are a huge threat. I think people would be dumb not to see you as one. You played a phenomenal game, and if you do make it to the final three, I will be voting for you. Could be either one. I knew the day would probably come where we'd all have to turn on each other um, tonight. Obviously is the night, not out of choice, but you've been an awesome friend to me. Not only an ally, but a friend um, this whole first semester at college and made my experience so much better. I meant it when I said I'm not the only one who can be a swing boat. Um, Ryan could also easily be a swing boat and then make this a tie. I'll go tally the votes. Okay, I have the votes. Once the votes have been read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. First vote. Margaret. Mario. Third vote. Mario. One vote Margaret, two votes Mario, one vote left. Fourth vote. And 15th person voted out, and final member of the jury, Mario. That's three votes, that's enough. Good luck, Margaret. <clears throat> Mario's a tribe to swim. They sure have. And we got some shots of that during the night that we can still you guys made an amazing, fantastic choice. I do honestly believe that I would have demolished all of you guys. <laughs> but I had to try. Mario. No hard feelings. That's us. Final three, congratulations. You've made it as far oh, as you wow. can go in this game. Now the power shifts to the jury and they will have a hand in choosing which one of you will win. You guys will come back here in two days and we will have final tribal council and that's when we will find out who the winner is of Survivor Wahoo Warriors. Okay, you guys are free to go. Look, the tea is. Y'all know I just got voted out because I am the best of the best and they knew that and they're scared. They're scared of black powerful men they knew i was running this game from the jump and they always asked me mario why are you so paranoid you know why i'm paranoid because you won't be gone you just can't do it and i think they realized that and you see i still fought because i know for a fact if i go home tonight margaret's gonna win margaret girl you got this in the bag this is what distinguishes the sole survivor from the best player in the game the best player in the game, they get voted out fourth, but the sole, sole survivor convinces people to keep them in the game. Margaret, you did a phenomenal job, and I'm rooting for you. Now I'm going to go to this jury, and I'm going to spill this tea so I can help you win. But I'm going to end this here. You guys stay blessed, never depressed. If I'm on All Stars, just know I'm coming for that win, because I need my money. You see, they stopped my bag tonight, but I'm going to get my bag later. All right, y'all have a blessed night. Okay, so like obviously we both know, like, we're, we're probably gonna have to maybe not talk the best words about each other. I mean, yep. but you know, that. you know that um, I wouldn't take anything you said personally. Okay. I was a little bit upset because I did feel that maybe I shouldn't have taken Margaret after all the things that people said. If I literally just came in there, I'm gonna be so pissed. And so if that mistake comes back to bite me and, and I end up losing this game, I'll be pretty upset that, you know, I played with my heart instead of my head. Okay, not... genuinely, honestly, what do you think your odds are of winning? Fifty-fifty. 
50-50 and I really have no idea. Like at this point, I could tell you if I thought it was a, a shoe in and I'm yeah. telling you that I think it's 50-50, so. It's something that has shaped me as a person, I feel like, even though that's kind of cheesy to say. But I mean, this version of Survivor has just been so different than the one that I'm used to because you don't really realize how close you become to people and how hard it is to see them go. Now I feel like I, I'm learning how to build good relationships, make good connections. That's something that I didn't really know how to do before college because like, yeah, I had friends, but I didn't really have close friends. <laughs> And I think that I will know these people for the rest of my life. So, you know, I'm super glad for that. That was fun. <laughs> but you know, as the game progressed and as I made milestone after milestone, my goals changed because like I literally, <laughs> I put finals are next week and I put so much more work into this than any of my finals. So I think that's a sign as to how much I want this and how much I think I deserve this. And I actually do like strongly believe that my case is better than Margaret's. The only problem is that I have to make other people believe that. This is my hardest test right now to convince the jury of, you know, the game I played because like I really did play under the radar. Guys, no matter what happens, these are from 18 to 3. Like, go us. That's like awesome. I have survived. Like, I had alliance members. I was open to talk and I played fairly honorable. I wasn't like pulling Tonys, like going around like swearing on my mother's grave. And like, like I tried to win challenges. And when it mattered most, these past two tribals, I did win the challenges. I thought it was gonna be like a four hours a week kind of thing. No, it was Every a lot second. more than that. I was there to offer advice and talk to people and I thought things through. I was honest with my Alliance members. I didn't like flip unnecessarily. <laughs> we're all gonna get roasted. Oh yeah, we're all, I like, honestly feel like we're all gonna be crying. I really think they're gonna be hard. I think they're gonna be really hard. I definitely doubted myself. I definitely agreed with the too nice to play this game fact. But um, of course I feel great, but then I also feel guilty because I mean, who am I to say that I deserve to go further in this game than Aaron or Max or Peyton? Like we can both definitely play on the whole not being a threat is still a yeah. strategy. I'm very good at seeing all sides to all stories, which makes it like very difficult for me to stand back and objectively say, yes, I should win. I am the best. But I do think that I can say like objectively, I deserve to win. If I win, I win and that'd be dope. And if I don't, then oh well. But the best I can do is be truthful and persuasive. Definitely not what I expected coming into college at all. You know, like I really thought I was gonna be just like dying, taking tests, but then like I was like running around voting people off an island. So like that wasn't really what I expected at all from my first year at college, but like I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, this has been like the best experience. All right, are we good? Wow, this is, this will be the last video I upload to the Google Drive. I think some of the jury will be very bitter especially Tommy and Peyton. But I think some of the jury is definitely gonna be open to hear my side of it. And I think that I wanna go in um, how I would wanna hear it, which is I wanna own my game. Like I wanna own the things I did and the things I said and the people I lied to. And I understand that um, that probably hurt for some people. I hope those people can look past it and forgive me and see the, the grand scheme of the game that I was trying to play. But here's the thing, like, we actually don't know Ali's game because we didn't talk to her like that much at all. Yeah. And maybe we're underestimating her. My hope going into the jury is that Ellie will swing a few votes because I think Ellie taking a few votes will take some votes that Ryan could get. I think if Ellie gets Tommy and Peyton's vote, I think I stand a really good chance. The one thing that kind of makes me nervous is I think Ellie's played a very cautious game completely. Um, 
and I think I've played a very strategic game. But if you're mad at me for the strategic game, you might go for Ryan in the middle who's played cautious and strategic. I think some of those people in the middle will vote for you. So that's why I'm saying that I mean, yeah, if... I do think I need to get Tommy's vote. If I get zero votes, I'll be devastated. You're not gonna get zero <laughs> votes. I will literally like bet you right now you're not gonna get zero votes. I think that I deserve to win for the successful game I've played. Um, especially compared to the people sitting next to me. Well, I'll be offended if you say anything mean about me, so you better not. Oh, really? Yeah. Be prepared to be very offended. I don't know, I just think it's, this has just been the neatest experience. I can't even put it into words and, you know, doing this on a college campus with real people, real feelings, like a real game. Um, it's like until you've gone through it, it's like an experience that you can't fully wrap your head around. So I think that's it. Signing off for season four, hopefully. There's a good end to this story for me. Welcome in your jury, Connie, Peyton, Kevin, Max, Lauren, Aaron, Ethan, and Mario voted out at the last tribal council. So congratulations, final three, Margaret, Ryan, and Ellie. You guys have made it as far as you can in this game. Now the power shifts to the jury of eight people who you either had a hand directly or indirectly in voting out. You will first get a chance to give opening statements. Um, and then after that, the jury will address you individually and then you'll be able to give closing statements. Okay, first off, Margaret. Great, right, so hello everybody. Um, first off, I wanted to say great game. Um, I had a great time playing with all of you. I think you're all amazing players and people. I started off building connections, building alliances, um, kind of doing what, um, like fulfilling my survivor dream that little me watching it on the couch with my mom would have wanted. Going into the Katie vote, that was kind of when my game shifted. That was kind of when um, I realized how quickly things can change in this game. And I realized that um, I came here to play and I made a vow to myself that I wasn't gonna sit back. I wasn't just gonna let things happen. I was gonna play and I was gonna play to win. Um, I directed most of the big mo moves in this game um, and I hope that um, you can see the reasons why I deserve your vote tonight, but either way, whether I, whatever happens tonight, I'm grateful for this experience. I hope we can all be friends outside of the game and yeah, it's been a great semester, so. Okay, thanks Margaret, Ryan. What's up guys? Um, I'd first off just like to say how grateful I am for all of you. Um, I think you made this a really great season and I think you were a great competition and it's something that I'll remember you know, for the rest of my life. You know, I came in knowing that I would have to make strong relationships because that's what you have to do to win. And you know, I think based on this mentality, it's really no coincidence that I knew every vote going into every time. Um, and I voted correctly and I never received a single vote the entire game. And I, I think that in addition to that, you know, I sort of did play under the radar. Mario said that m much of my game was secret. Um, and I think, you know, that's a strength for me because it did stop me from getting votes. It allowed me to make big moves behind the closed doors and protect a lot of my closest alliances. You know, people like Margaret who have been loyal to me this entire game. Um, I'm really proud of the game I played and I'm glad to answer any questions you guys have. Okay, thanks Ryan. Ellie, you can go. Okay, hey guys, so you guys are now the silo Saibin children, silo Saibin mushrooms with all the power. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I hope that you guys will want me to win this game most out of the three people. I tried my best to be as honest as I could and as loyal as I could. I recognize that that's not possible in a game like this. Like, of course, I'm gonna try to like be as nice as I can, but can't be too nice and win this game. So 
I kind of evolved at the end. And while it was really difficult to make some choices, Aaron, I do think that um, it was necessary to make some difficult choices. When I had to win like the challenges I did these past few votes, I don't think I would be here if I didn't win those challenges. I honestly just tried my best to play this game loving as is possible in a game called Survivor and as strategic as is possible. Okay, thanks Ellie. Now the jury will address each of you however they want. They can ask questions, they can talk to you, they can talk to the jury. The first person that's up is Tommy. Being the first member of the jury, I have been on the jury for 39 days exactly, which is ironically enough, the exact length of a real Survivor season. So for seven tribal councils, I sat over there um, and I listened and I took everything in so that I could make a decision. So I will tell you that my decision has been made. I've already decided what I'm gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna take this time not to ask you guys questions, but to give you some feedback. <laughs> Ryan, I'm gonna start with you. After the merge vote, when Andy went home, I was obviously very excited. Things kind of went my way um, and I was happy with the result. But I was more focused on the fact that someone ditched their team and flipped their vote. So a move like that to me, honestly, proves a little bit of weakness, um, a little bit of disloyalty, and a little bit of cowardice. Um, because of that, I will not be voting for you tonight. Margaret, I have spent a long time thinking about what I wanted to say to you. Really, it comes down to, hypothetically, you screw over five people that are now gonna most likely consist of the majority of the jury that are gonna then vote for the winner. Personally, I think that you crossed the line. Um, and I think that it showed very poor character, but still you could have pulled it off. You really could have pulled it off. And you um, were very close to getting my vote, um, but you didn't seal the deal. And you didn't get rid of everyone that you screwed over and you left someone right there sitting in here in the final three. Um, all right, Ellie. I've always said that I want someone to be able to win this game being a good person, but I honestly didn't think it was possible. But here you are. And you are the embodiment of the idea that you can win this game and be a good person doing it. I will be voting for you to win tonight, and I wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Tommy. Peyton, you're up. Congratulations. One, this is really impressive. Um, when I was in the game in like the first three weeks, there was a few people that definitely made the stress less. And that was part of the reason I decided like, I'm gonna keep playing because these are actually good people and it really makes me happy to know that they're with, they're like here for me and I can hang out with them and I can trust them. But I couldn't. Um, to be honest, Margaret, I trusted you a lot. And when you did that, that kind of lost all my respect. Um, where did your alliances end up moving from? Like how did your alliances progress through the season? So, basically, when I started this game, um, I played really openly in our original Waim. I made a lot of connections, and from day one, um, I was really strong with Ryan and Mario um, from the first night. But I was also really strong with you guys, so I kind of was in this place um, where I trusted everyone, and we didn't really have any um, huge divisive votes within our tribe, so we didn't really see those play out. and. Then when I went, when I obviously switched tribes to the new Aim, um, there I built more connections and I started to know people more. And when I spoke with Tommy and had that conversation, um, it was something that was fully genuine and something that I wanted to follow through on. When I made it to the merge, I realized I couldn't work with everyone. That's pretty interesting since in the beginning, we all thought it was just the girls of Waim. So that tells me that that safety relationship I thought we had wasn't actually there. If you guys are going for the first year kind of style, I think you guys kind of did screw it up since you have a second year with y'all. All right, yeah. thanks guys. Thanks, Peyton. Kevin, you're up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Congrats. Just to play devil's advocate a little bit. In, in Margaret's scenario, um, this whole thing about keeping first years on the jury, Margaret should have done that. Um, 
I tend to disagree just because um, this is a game about yourself. It's not about putting three first years on the jury. It's about putting yourself in the best position. And also, I mean, Ellie, no offense, I, you're the best, okay? I love you. Um, but you also voted out your closest ally. You know, you turned on Aaron. That's similar. Like, Ellie turned on her closest ally. Margaret blindsided people. That's how the game works. That's just what you do. Anyways, um, my mind's still not made up. Um, I'm gonna listen to what all you guys have to say, but Margaret, I'm gonna start with you. Can you differentiate your game from Ryan and Mario's? Because right now there's a lot of confusion between who did what, who made what decisions, so I'd just like to hear that from you. Yeah, so I will admit, like a lot of my decisions were made within a group, but I think a lot of the distinguishing of our games um, comes more toward the end of the game. That's where I would focus on. Um, especially the final five vote. Um, and at that point, Ryan was really insistent on voting out Mario. And Ryan had an idol in his pocket and he had the resources to do it. He had Aaron and Ellie and Ethan on the other side. And I think what distinguishes my game from his is that I said, no, I don't wanna do that because if Mario goes home, it's going to be Ellie, Ethan, you, me, and I know I'm gonna be next. And if I'm not next, it's gonna be a split vote and I could be next. Um, Ryan, question yeah, for you, yeah. and thank you by the way. Um, so I just want to hear about your decision to plant the fake. Um, yeah. From my perspective, all it did was make me super suspicious of you, because I knew it was you from the start. Well, at the time, you know, I did see you and Hannah as very strategic threats, and I knew you were together. Um, I thought you were a very smart person, and I knew you knew how to play the game. Basically, my goal in doing that was to deter you guys from looking for the idol, so that within the coming weeks, you know, I could take out a big threat in the game. Um, and, you know, obviously, I really did not lie so well about that. Like, my hands were shaking when I told you about it. Um, <laughs> and it really did create some distrust between us. Um, like to the point where the the tribe or the the tribal council where you were voted out, like I was literally so freaking scared that you had something up your sleeves, and that was really just a gut call because you know I had to do my best to take out a threat in this game who I knew didn't trust me. Okay, thank you, thank you guys. Good luck. Thanks, Kevin. Max, you're up. Hey, gang. Um, so no beef. I'll say that. Ellie. What happened at the end, at the end here? Like, I feel like a lot of people said that you were floating along for a lot of the game. Um, and I do remember you saying on multiple occasions that that is a strategy, which I would agree with. And then you, you pop out with the, the flip on Aaron and then you, you know, win these last two challenges. And like, that's exactly what you needed to do. There was just so much time and it was very adamant that they were not going to change their mind. And it was really just me like thinking in the back of my mind earlier, like, wow, Aaron has played a really good game. Yeah. And this would be me having a 33% chance of just going home based on a rock. I don't want to be voted out by a rock. Okay, cool. Um, Ryan, uh, I, I think out of everyone here, I've spoken to you the least yeah. through the whole game. Hey, how you doing? Um, <laughs> I just, I didn't see a lot of your game. Yeah. Um, and so I knew, I know you, Margaret, and, and Mario were tight uh, the whole time. Like, what was your overall strategy, and then if that, if there were any major shifts in that? A lot of times it was just, you know, working together with them. But the outcomes of the votes that we decided together, I feel were most in my favor because, you know, they took out the people that they were closer to rather than me. So, you know, Margaret was in a final three with you and Tommy. So, obviously, that's going to be a big target for me because I want to have more connections than both of my alliances. But I do think that a lot of my game was just talking with people and persuading people to do the things that I wanted to do. For example, when Erin was voted out and we were all sitting up here talking about what we were doing, um, she said that she, there was a 99% chance that she was doing what she was doing. So I think I was able to do that because I was kind and I was open-minded and I was willing to listen to what they had to say, but I knew what I wanted to do. Okay, that's my time, but I, I don't know. I'm gonna be listening to you guys. Okay, thanks Max. Lauren, you're up. Margaret, one thing I've noticed about you is how you always manage to get someone to save you. I mean, you got me to save you, but I also do think that that's like a testament to your gameplay, the fact that you get people to save you over and over, even Ryan, you know, he thinks that's a smart move, but I don't know, do you have anything to say about that? Yeah, so I think like I did form really strong connections and honestly, Ryan, I was really wondering at Final Five why you didn't vote Mario out and go for me next, and I still wonder it. And I honestly think that was one of my biggest moves 
in the game was getting you to keep me. And um, yeah, I am really grateful. Um, I wouldn't be sitting here if it weren't for you. I totally acknowledge that. I think that me and Ethan in particular, like using us as numbers has been a big part of the reason why you two are even here. What I have to say to you, Ellie, is that from the beginning, I really didn't think you'd make it here. I'm gonna be honest. And and once you did make it and I was on the jury, I was like, man, how, who's gonna vote for Ellie if she gets to the end? But then after those um, last two challenges, I was like, I was like, Ellie won, shoot. And Ryan, I have a burning question for you. When did you find Mario's idol? When you were out there looking in the cold, did you already have it? <laughs> I did already have it. <laughs> All right, that, that will definitely play a role in my decision. I, I don't really like my time to be wasted. It was very cold out there. But yeah, I just want to say I had fun playing with all of you. Even you, Ellie, we didn't get to talk, but best of luck to all of you. Thanks, Lauren. Aaron, you're up. Um, Ellie, let's talk rocks. Um, that has been brought up more than I thought it would be tonight. I went home that night and I was like, you know, Ellie's played a really nice game, um, but that wasn't a nice thing to do, right? Like that was, that was, and what I thought was a weak move. But here's the thing. I completely didn't think that you'd make it here um, because I thought that Ryan, Margaret, and Mario would vote you home. And I think that would have happened until you stood up for yourself and you started winning challenges. And then that changed my whole perspective on that rocks because I was like, you know what? I think you're absolutely right. Like, there's a time and point in this game where you have to stand up and you have to start playing your own game. And it wasn't gonna be worth it for me to go home and you not to go to Rocks until you started doing that. And then you did. Um, Ryan, why did you play the idol for Margaret? I wanna hear your rationale for that. That was the last week that I could play the idol. Um, and I was planning on playing it for Ethan and sending Mario home that week because in- Okay, cut to the chase. Why did you want to be sitting next to Margaret? <laughs> oh, um, because her big move was Tommy. And then after that, I don't think she said much in my opinion. Margaret, do you know what the word glib means? Wait, sorry, what? The word glib. Glib. G-L-I-B. G-L-I-B. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, Aaron. Ethan, you're up. Congratulations to getting to the final three. Um, Ryan, personally, I felt like you you said many times that you've played a secretive game, and I feel like you've played so much of a secretive game that people don't know that you've actually played the game. And that one time you called me, you said, Ethan, there's people I know I can't beat. That's Mario and that's Margaret. And here we are, Margaret sitting next to me. Oh. And I was confused. I was devastated. I was petrified when you voted out me because it made no sense to me that you would do that. So can you please explain briefly why you did that? Sure. Um, you know my goal was to vote out Mario. It was literally impossible. I went to Margaret, she was unwilling to make a big move. But you had an idol. How could I have played it? I only had one vote and I, there was no way. I had worked for so long to convince her to vote out Mario. So there was no way to do it other than to take you out. Ellie, um, personally, I feel like you've mastered the art of being a low profile player. From my point of view, Aaron was kind of controlling you. And you've said multiple times that like, oh, people didn't talk to me. You know, people talked to Aaron. But I still feel like you had that opportunity to reach out to talk to people. So can you please explain why you didn't do that and why you ultimately feel like you should get my vote? I wouldn't go so far as to say that Aaron was controlling my game though. I think the fact that more people came to her to make decisions with our alliance was just the nature of how our alliance was. Margaret, I personally feel like you were able to lie to so many people and betray them and get away with it. I felt that it was brilliant, honestly. I feel like people people voted you as the most likely person to win this game, and here you are. And I would also like you to explain um, why you thought it was a good move to allow yourself to be persuaded, I'm assuming, by Mario to put yourself in the position where you were in the minority alliance to get information when you probably knew that when you ended up betraying them that they would not like you. I was not convinced by Mario. Um, I wasn't convinced by Ryan. That was my own choice. Um, when I went into the merge again with a lot of these connections because I hadn't broken any pre-merge, um, I had a lot of decisions to make and um, 
honestly, I know that those decisions resulted in a lot of people not being my biggest fan. And that is something that like, I have to completely own because I made those choices. Thank you guys. Mario, you're up. That's what So Ryan, I'm not even gonna waste any second telling you that you did nothing this game because I believe you and I both know that. Uh, your two biggest moves in this game was possibly trying to send me home and planting the fake idol, both unsuccessful. That's it. Margaret, for both you and Ryan, I don't appreciate how you tried to erase what I did in this game. Um, you guys say that you guys made those moves, but you guys act as if I wasn't there. Um, <laughs> Margaret, I saved you time after time. You only felt comfortable being on the chopping block because you had my allies on your side. Um, yeah, I don't think that you convinced anyone not to vote for you, to be honest. I think I convinced people not to vote for you. And that was solely because I didn't care who I took to the end, to be honest, because I knew that I could beat any single person that I was up against. Um, Allie girl, you, you did an amazing job this whole time. I think people doubted you and People didn't expect you to be here. Everyone always wanted to take you to the end. I think that's kind of how you got here. But in the end, you decided your own future because you won two back-to-back -back challenges, which is far more than anyone sitting next to you have, has done. Um, you played this game with honesty and integrity and you tried your best to just make sure everyone felt like you were a close friend to them. And I think that's pretty hard to do in this game. I, for one, know that Playing many sides is not, it's not like really um, good. Um, now I'm gonna get back to Margaret again, I'm sorry. Um, I know for a fact that you did not make those choices free will. And then Ryan, back to you. Um, <laughs> like, like Ethan pointed out, your game was so secretive that it was non-existent. Um, I remember, I recall you coming to me complaining about how you didn't you didn't you hadn't made any moves and that was your whole purpose of playing the fake idol and then after you you disclosed to us that your whole purpose of not telling us about the idol was because you wanted to make a big move because you had it in this whole game and that was like a week ago so for you to come out here and say that you made big moves this whole game is just completely absurd and it's a lie thank you okay Thank you, jury. Um, now, final three, each of you will get a chance to give your closing statements. Ali, you're up first. There's not really too much else to say. Yeah, I did my best to be as nice as I could. Um, and I realized that it wasn't. Like, it wasn't, like, a, like I, I wasn't Jesus. Like, I'm not Jesus. Like, I, like, had to make part truths, and I had to, um, not stand up for my friends to get here, but that was a decision I made on my own, even if it doesn't look like it. Okay, thanks Ellie. Ryan, you're up. Alright, well, I'm pretty cold right now, so it's gonna be cool. Um, I just want to let you guys know how much fun I had playing. I love all of you, and if I'm not gonna get the to vote tonight, you know, I'm, I'm glad to talk about it more, but, like, I had a fun time playing. Okay, thanks Ryan. Margaret, you're up. Yeah, I'll admit, Mario, that was an error. You did a lot of this game. You really did. And I think if you were sitting here, I think you would have won too. Um, I don't want you to think that I come here ignoring that fact. Um, because I do think that you two were a lot of the reason that I did make it here. And I want to acknowledge that. But I also want to acknowledge the moves that I made on my own and the decisions that I made on my own. Thank you, final <laughs> three. Now we are going to vote. So, Tommy, you're up. <laughs> Freaking killed it. I'm so proud of you. Um, I really hope you win tonight. You're an amazing person. That was so annoying. Everyone is so bitter. But 
my vote tonight. It says Margaret. It's going out to Margaret and Ryan. The showman's. Man, I thought those other votes were tough, huh? This is actually kind of a tough decision between two people. But I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna go with who I really think deserves to win. Margaret, I'm voting for you to win tonight because I feel like you've played the best game out of the three. Best of luck. Margaret, you chose to spend your time discrediting me lying basically and said you did everything all on your own and you know goddamn well that ain't true if you would have went out there tonight and told some sort of the truth you and ryan i would have voted for you i told you that but you decided not to do that you decided to put me on the jury after i told y'all not to because you know that would validate my work if you were sitting next to me on that tribal you would have won because of the simple fact that you're a better liar than me. You're more convincing. And that's it. All right, I will go tally the votes for one last time. All right, I have the votes. In this jar are the votes for the winner. We will go upstairs into the Rodman room and we will reveal the winner there. So, congratulations Ellie, Ryan, Margaret. In this jar are the votes for the winner. You want to see your name. First vote, Margaret. Second vote, Ellie. One vote, Margaret, one vote, Ellie. Third vote, Margaret. Ellie. Fifth vote. Ellie. Sixth vote. Seventh vote and winner of Survivor Wahoo Warriors, Ellie. <laughs> Congratulations, Ellie. You are the fourth winner of Survivor at UVA. Wow.
All right, guys, that is the end of the season. Certainly an unpredictable way to finish out, but it was an unpredictable season. Um, it's been in the works for over two years, and I really can't believe that it's done. I just want to say thanks to everyone for giving it a shot. I really can't believe the amount of incredible feedback we've gotten in the comments, on Instagram, on Twitter. It's been really great to see all the effort we put in pay off. Thanks to the exec board, production of season four, everybody that put in hours of summarizing footage so that we could make this product happen. That meant a lot and it made it a lot easier. So thanks to you guys. In terms of additional content for the season, we did film a reunion right after the season wrapped. Um, I don't know if that will get edited. We filmed a couple of Ponderosa shots throughout the season and there were a lot of scenes that didn't make the cut. So certainly let us know in the comments what you're interested in seeing and we can maybe get that out to you guys. I'm sure we could do some season breakdowns with some of the cast or some special guests. Genki has been really good at setting that up so far. So big props to him for that. Uh, if you have any specific questions for the cast, definitely hit us up in the comments, in the episode poll after this episode, in Twitter, Instagram. There's so many ways to reach out to us and we'll hopefully get those answers to you guys. For future seasons, we have filmed eight full seasons as a club and we're gonna go into our ninth this spring, which means that there's a lot of content to come. Uh, this will be the last and only season for me editing. It was a lot of work and I don't really know if I can go through that again, but there are a lot of people that are hoping to take on some projects. Definitely we have some people already starting to edit another season, so keep an eye out for that. Really excited about that and big props to them for you know putting in the commitment to making this happen. Um, I think that's all. I really don't know what else to say, but uh, hopefully we'll be getting some live shows or reunions in the next couple of days or weeks. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you for a future season.